Uh, this is a big week. So the Game Awards, uh, Brody and I watched the Game Awards um, when they happened this past week, and they announced some hella good stuff, you know? Um, so the first thing they really announced was the Xbox Series X, which comes out holiday season 2020. Um, the price and specs are unknown. We do have a trailer, and the trailer looks really good. Um, and we do have their slogan, Power Your Dreams, uh, and obviously an estimated release date. So I'm assuming holiday 2020 is probably saying that they're going to be releasing it around November 22nd is probably the best bet, uh, 2020, because that's generally when they start to release that stuff. But um, it looks cool. Can, can, I, can um, I just say how confusing the name is? Yeah, I know. I know. They're running Jeez. out of new names. It just Xbox Series X. X they just one. released the One X. Yeah. So now, now kids are going to be like, for Christmas, can I get an Xbox X? And then their grandparents are going to buy them the One X, and they're going to be like, I already have one of these. Yeah. Well, that's th- going to be real confusing. A theory that I read was um, that the Series X is going to actually be multiple consoles, including an entry level, which would be the Xbox One X. So. So I like don't know how true DLC? that. Yeah, like so. I heard that the high end Xbox Series X could go for as much as like six hundred to seven hundred dollars. And Yikes. obviously, unless you're a hardcore console gamer, I mean, even then, you might want to just buy a PC. But um, at, at least the Series X looks a lot cooler than the PlayStation Five for what they've shown they of that. They haven't released they've shown images off yet. The PlayStation 5? They've they've shown like images and stuff of it. No, they ha- no they haven't. Yeah, they have. No, they haven't yet. Yeah. I did research today on this. No, they haven't. I didn't know where. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, we got to Google this. It, shit. It, it's Hold like on. it's like this. It's like a box. It's like a rectangle, and then it has these two big, like. I see it. Like it has like a big V stuck on the top. Yeah, it has like a piece cut out of it. It's like a box, but a piece cut out of it. Right. That, I think that's for like air intake or something for cooling. I don't think oh, that's, that's cool. an official. It, it's it's really silly looking. That looks like just like a render, like a fan render. This is definitely confirmed. I know. I've. St- I don't. I, 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 I keep up I on my so. tech news. Don't doubt my tech news. I know. I know. But I. I don't. I don't think this is. I don't think this is accurate. Because I've been seeing seeing these images since um uh early 2017 i'm kind of hoping that they so so xbox is obviously owned by microsoft and i'm kind of i'm kind of hoping that they they do like a kind of like a modified windows 10 rather than um because the xbox already supports keyboard and mouse support and i think it'd be cool if xbox went in the direction of say um pc gaming right maybe they maybe they want to make a console that can play like steam and an origin right but has optimized parts like okay when you're building a pc like i know this from experience there's a lot of factors that goes into it you know there's always new specs that come out you know one of the big things is the cpu the gpu you got to do a lot of research benchmarking but what if there was like a con maybe this is what xbox is uh and this is kind of what I'm hoping they're doing with this. Um, maybe they're trying to create like PCs that you know, that are that are that can play Xbox games, kind of right. Like maybe that that's kind of the direction they're looking to go in. Almost like you remember the Steam Steam released their own console a few years ago. Um, yeah, the Steam yeah, machine. The Steam machine, yeah, and it was a window. It had Windows 10 on it. And the hardware was pretty bare, um, but it but it was their own kind of spin on it. Maybe that's what Xbox is doing. And if they do do that, I have a feeling they'll have the upper hand on PlayStation this year. Because, I mean, what are they going to run? I mean, friggin' Linux or, you know, like if that's the way the consoles are going. I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I'm kind of hoping that that's what what? I know it's it's very compu- it's very confusing. Like the further consoles go on, they're just going to get more and more like computers, right? So it, the question becomes: Why not just get a computer then? 
Well, I mean, for most people, I think the the what deters them from the computers are typically more expensive. Right, but like, I think this new console generation is gonna be expensive. Yeah, at that point, I think you should just build a computer. Well, here's the reason why I don't think that's a good idea because I feel like so when you have an Xbox, the I have played every single Xbox game I have played. I have never experienced low frame rate or crashes or anything because those games are developed for a certain kind of hardware. They're right, optimized no, for a I'm certain sure kind of hardware. I'm sure game developers appreciate just a universal standard for like yes, minimum so spec. That is one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons I feel that people aren't going and buying PCs because there's so many problems. And obviously, I love PC gaming. And honestly, I personally, I know how to fix almost any problem with a computer. Like, I can figure it out. I know how to do research on how to fix stuff. But there are a lot of people that don't and don't really care to. That's well, kind there's of a lot of people the that are just intimidated in. by all the different parts and, you know. True. The socket True. types and the, you, you, yeah. however, whatever. Different kinds of SSDs, different... Yeah kinds of hard drives what does the rpm on the hard drive effectively mean it, it, it's it's an intimidating thing to get into yeah yeah but i personally think that um i don't know i i'm kind of hoping that this is going into a, a specific direction and that direction is pc i i really i think that xbox will win this this um console war if they make a pc kind of like a console pc that can play Xbox games and that um, it's optimized. You know, you don't have to worry about friggin' having to upgrade CPUs and, and whatnot. Or, or maybe that'd be kind of cool if, like, you could upgrade the hardware, maybe. Like, I don't know. I, I, I can't yeah, imagine. I don't really... Cool. I don't know how big this is going to be, though. Like, I look at the image and that doesn't... Like, obviously, it's it, it, the controller's next to it so you can kind of get a feel. But, like, I don't know the, the exact specs. So maybe they're going to offer like bigger versions with like um, traditional GPUs. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's where they're going, but it very much reminds me of the Corsair one PC. Um, And Isaac and I spoke about this before we recorded. It does look uh, a lot like it. It does. Yeah. But um, maybe that's kind of the direction they want to go in. Affordable, affordable gaming for, I don't know, just people that don't want to have to screw around with pc parts well i mean then you just buy a pre-built at that point in my mind yeah but because like hardware wise between an xbox and a pc they're virtually the same thing it has to have a processor for general processing of things and it has to have a graphics processor for processing the image that goes on your screen it has to have fast memory it has to have reliable memory which is like your storage it has to it it still has the same basics inside of it no matter what it's just so if they're making it run similar to a computer more if 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 you're if you're right and that's the direction they're heading then i think people should just bribe bribe buy pre-built computers because I feel like it, I feel like in the Xbox they'd probably have some limitations, some locks. You know, maybe you can't access yeah, yeah. your files, or well, like you my, can't use Steam Store or something like that. Because why would the, they want competition inside their Xbox? Well, I think that could be a huge selling point. Like an optimized gaming machine that doesn't that cost a fraction of what a PC would cost. Like obviously the 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 price rumors are just rumors, right? And then that, that's and not then official. There's the whole, the whole jip of like Xbox Gold, like needing to pay yeah. for being able to use game servers. Um, back at E3, they announced that they're doing away with that, with uh, Xbox Live. Oh, really? really? Yeah, it's it's going to be a project over the next year, which I'm assuming by next June, probably we're going to hear more about it. But yeah, a lot of they they really want to focus on cross compatibility. You know, Sony Sony games and, and Xbox games working together, which I which I can personally I, I can um I can, I support that. I, yeah, I think that's really cool. Whether people like like the biggest the reason that this is kind of lit a fire under these developers' asses is because Fortnite 
did exactly that where mobile players could play with console players and they could play with PC players and you could play on any device. And Minecraft did that with Windows 10 edition. And I think it's an awesome thing. And now Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you can do that exactly that. So I think that's kind of where gaming is moving forward, where it's more or less everyone plays together rather than having respected consoles. So I have a feeling that things are going to change with PC players whether people like them or not. You know, we always talk about how we got the advantage keyboard and mouse, but I could I can I can imagine seeing a lot of people on Xbox or consoles starting to play with keyboard and mouse and at that point well, <laughs> the only difference is the hardware, right? I mean, so, it doesn't really make much sense to have a console that plays on keyboard and mouse though because right. It does. Thing, because essentially where where do you where do you have your console? It's by a TV and you're sitting yeah. across the room on your couch. Well, my console actually hooks up to my monitor, so... Well, you I'm can really... hook it up to a monitor, but that's not the typical arrangement, I would think. No. I've never had option, my console there. plugged into my monitor to play on a desk. And, like, Fortnite has a has a system where it won't match you up with... Uh, so, if you're playing with controller, it's not going to match you up with someone playing with keyboard and mouse. Which is so, good. But, but if you do want to have a keyboard and mouse, then you get to play against people with keyboard and mouse. I mean, really, the biggest solution to that is just don't play Fortnite. Well, <laughs> I hate Fortnite. Stop playing games. Just go outside. <laughs> yeah. Turn off the hashtag Xbox. AFK. Turn off the computer. Go Are hashtag you suggesting AFK. that instead of shooting people in virtual world, we shoot people in the real world? Oh, my God. No, Isaac. <laughs> real life <laughs> battle real. royale? That's just a problem. No. <laughs> it, maybe that pain, seems pretty violent, dance, but... Brody. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> What's no, wrong Brody's with not... you, Brody? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, sick, sick person. Jesus.